Welcome to the Twin Turbo Gaming Show, an R32 Media production. Let's get started. Hey everybody out there, this is E.T. Thanks for tuning in to the Twin Turbo Gaming Show. Let's cut to the chase and get started. We'll talk about other things later in the show. First story of the day comes to us from Joystick. And it's about Metal Max 2, which is going to be remade for the DS. And I picked this story because it's kind of a a theme that's, that's happening. Or a, yeah, a theme. A lot of old school titles are either being re-released as what they, in their previous uh, condition or previous version, and ported to multiple platforms, iOS, DS, Xbox Live, PlayStation, etc., etc. So a lot of people are taking their old IP, their old intellectual property, and they're porting it to other, other OSs, basically, or other systems, I guess you could say. And this kind of, this, this Metal Max 3 story goes along with that. It was previously a game on the Super Famicom, which is uh, in the U.S. will be the Super NES, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Famicom is an abbreviation for Family Computer. They chopped up the Lee and the Pewter and put Famicom, Super Famicom. And uh, they're going to be porting it to the DS. So it, this is, I guess I just brought it up because it's a theme that's happening in industry. Lots of old school games that we either had before or we had to, you know, Im- get imported games from Japan. You know, back in the day when you had to mod your your Super Nintendos and your and your NASs, and you had to do all kinds of creative stuff to get those cool games that no one else had from from Japan. Yeah, so this it's good that these these titles are actually making their way to the modern system, so we can play them either in their previous <coughs> excuse me in their previous uh, condition or. They're actually taking the IP and making updated versions of it. So I, I thought I think this is an awesome kind of uh, fad or not fad uh, wave of uh, wave of coolness that's happening in the gaming industry. That way you don't have to go back and buy old used Sega Genesis and or NESs to play these old games. You can actually just download them from the web or you know purchase the ca- the cartridge or et cetera et cetera. But yeah, Metal Max 2 is being remade for the DS and hopefully some other other systems as well. Next story is uh, rather interesting. This game is called Yakiniku Bo, right, Bugyo. And, and uh, it's... I was talking to my wife about what Bugyo means yesterday. And it, we, we had a difficult time trying to define it in its modern modern uh sense i guess you could say but she said it's kind of like a a judge or you know kind of she she kind of talked about the game show how someone there's a judge that kind of judges what you do but then i decided okay let me break out my dictionary and and i looked it up and it actually means magistrate or the shogunate uh administrator or shogun's administrator or magistrate's office so basically uh, this this game mean basically is you're cooking yakiniku. Yakiniku is a uh, grilled meat, and it's it's really popular in in Japan. And it's I think it's originally from Korea probably. Uh, but anyways, so you're you're cooking the meat on different parts of the grill, and you're trying to please your customers. There's, there's three customers on the screen, and so, you know some people like it cooked well done. Some people like to cook uh, slowly, or some people like it medium rare, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's just a funny, cool game, and uh, now it's it's actually available in the PSN network in the import section. So this is pretty awesome, and I've actually played it before, and and uh, it, it's just a cool game, and it's it's funny. Kind of reminds me of the you know the whole Cooking Mama type games, and uh, yeah, it, it's just. Once I saw it, I knew I had to put it in the show and kind of point it out to you guys. And this is actually an article from Joystick that kind of talks about the game, and it's available on the pre- the PSN in the imports. So, pretty awesome. Check it out. Drum roll, please. The next hack, kinetic hack of the week goes to a hack that lets you control 
uh, one of those quad quadrocopters, uh, helicopter things that has the four blades with gestures using the kinetic in the Xbox. Yeah. And this, this is just awesome. And there's a video here. And I'm also getting this from uh, Joystick via Engadget, actually. And there's their source. Let me just go down to the... I got it from Joystick via Engadget. From the original source is, the flying, is Flying Machine Arena. But you can trace the links back to the original site if you'd like. And this is just awesomeness. The, the cool things that people are getting out of the Kinetic is, is just amazing. And uh, I think it, it has enough juice to get the Xbox uh, 360 to it to its next to the next version of the Xbox, which will probably be next year or well, 2000 end of 2012. Will at least be demonstrated. I don't know if it'll be available, but the rumors are that PlayStation uh, 4 and the new Xbox will probably come out a year after the the Wii U, which is coming out. Uh, the earliest would be April of 2012. But yeah, kinetic hack of the week is controlling a quadrocopter with gestures. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Check out the video. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can check it out. Sony, Sony, Sony. This week, Sony, there's good, there's bad. This is a little bit bad or eh, it's hard to say. But they basically decided that the PC, the PSP, that they had a comic service, digital comic service. They're, they're, they're closing it down. They're closing the book, so to speak, on this. And I guess probably be, probably because um, it just didn't have the popularity. And, you know, with the iPad and, and the other tablets, and uh, I just think it, the, the screen real estate just wasn't big enough. So PSP Comic has been shut down. Digi- digital Comic has, service has been shut down. Uh, I never used it in my life, so not really any love lost on my on my part. But it just something that kind of I thought you might want me to bring up. Uh, another one of the, the services that is being canceled by Sony. But don't worry, there's good news from Sony as well, and we'll get to that a little bit later. We supports we you supports 3D, but not focusing on it is what Joystick says. And they talked to some folks over at at Nintendo, and they said, yeah, yeah, the Wii's got the hardware. It can handle some 3D action, but we're not focusing on it. And I'm very, very glad they're not, because 3D is just, 3D is junk. It gives you a headache. The, the experience is just not there yet. Even the 3DS is not the best thing in the world. I actually play it. When I do play it, I just look at it initially in full 3D, and I just basically end up turning it off, the 3D. Because it, it just gives me a headache. Uh, I played it for a while. My buddy has one. Play it for a good time just to test out the 3D. Yeah, it's kind of gimmicky and cool. But actually, I would rather just have a really high resolution screen and not even worry about the 3D. It's you know it's a gimmick, and I don't think I need it. So thank God that uh, Nintendo decided. Yeah, this thing can handle 3D. It supports 3D televisions, but we're not gonna focus on it. And I, I'm. Kudos to Nintendo for not messing that up. Thank God. But yeah, that just shows that the, if it can push out 3D, that it's got some power under the hood, I think. I'm pretty sure it's got some decent power under the hood. And of course, we have yet to see what it has under the hood. But it, eventually, it'll creep out, hopefully. But uh, the rumors are that it's probably... Be- well, of course, it's better than the current... The current technology is kind of like, I guess, at the level of a current PC, so to speak. So the graphics will definitely look awesome. Next story, and this is a, this is just awesome for indie developers and, and smaller companies out there. Torchlight, the famous game, has hit, uh, oh, has been purchased one million times. And uh, if you... If you're out of the know, you're not in the loop, you would uh, be aware that Torchlight 2, the sequel, or whatever it's going to be called, is supposed to be coming out this year, 2011. And they're still targeting 2011, but I have a feeling it's going to be uh, down to the <laughs> the last couple drops of sand in the hourglass. But yeah, lots of people have had a chance to play the demo at E3 lots of reporters and game industry folks and they, they've really liked it 
And it, it just goes to show you build a really good game. Even if you build it with a small team and you focus, you can sell a lot. Even though this game was a